Today I need to fix the Wi-Fi at my parents' place, as well as possibly do something a little cheeky. My gran is moving in next door, and over the last few weeks I've been busy installing AMPR, CCTV and gate access systems. The problem is, there's no internet here. So I wondered if there'd not only be a simple way to boost the Wi-Fi at my dad's house, but also send it round to my grandma's so she has some free internet. On paper, this should be really easy, but in practice, eh. So I'm gonna try out this system from ASUS. It's called the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi. This portion of the system, the Zen Wi-Fi BTA, is a two-pack mesh system that has some pretty impressive specs. Tri-band and MLO, which stands for multi-link operation. This should be beefy enough to cover the Wi-Fi in this house, considering we tested this thing out on a runway and it managed to cover over half a kilometer. Now this unit over here is called the Asus Zen Wi-Fi BD4 and it's an outdoor wireless access point or an AI mesh node, meaning it can connect to this system wirelessly, live outside and rebroadcast your Wi-Fi. Not only that, it can be powered via PoE and then take that data line into my grandma's new cottage for her to use with some hardwired devices. In theory, hopefully all of this is really simple, but we'll see. Previously, we've been using this Google Wi-Fi system. It's been okay because it's hardwired, but now it's starting to show its age and we get 250 meg fiber into this house. So it would be great to see all of that. So first we'll start with one of the BT8 units by plugging it into power and giving it an internet connection. Now on the laptop, we can connect to its Wi-Fi, navigate to 192.168.50.1, and now we're ready for setup. It then prompts you to go and power the second node up near the first. So let's go and do that. We can create ourselves a login password, create a wireless name. And once that's done, then we can connect to our new Wi-Fi and navigate to asusrouter.com, login, and now we're on the homepage. From here, we can confirm that we have an internet connection and that we are all up and running. Now, this is where it gets good. With that second node now plugged in, because we purchased the two pack, they should have already connected to each other, despite not having a cable between them. And now we can click on AI Mesh, and here you can see that our second node has successfully connected to our main node, wirelessly. You can go through and look at all the settings. Here we can see that we're connected wirelessly between the two nodes at six gigahertz. This will soon change to MLO, which is multi-link operation. This means the link between both of these nodes will use all three of the bands, not just one of them. Now that's basically all done for my parents' house, but what about my grandma? Now, whilst we're in the setup, let's get that outdoor unit configured. Start by plugging it in. It's as simple as clicking on add AI mesh node. And there we go, we can choose the outdoor unit and let it configure, and that's that. Now we can see that this outdoor unit is wirelessly connected. We can again check its signal strength and change any settings in here that we would like. Now all of this equipment is connected and talking to each other wirelessly, so we can now disconnect it from this location and put all of these devices in their forever homes. Now a few little things or tips about mesh systems. You don't want your nodes too far apart. Now these have MLO, so the other side of this wall here is node one and down here is node two. They are no more than 10 meters apart, but with them here, they will both provide ample coverage to the whole house and maintain a solid connection between the two. Let's run a speed test. So I'm hoping to get around 200 here, and as you can see, it jumps straight to it, there or thereabouts. So mission accomplished, and our ping under load is staying fairly consistent, which is nice. The upload's even better. Amazing, so it really is simple in this day and age to set up some great Wi-Fi with a mesh system. Now all that's left to do is go and install this on the exterior, yes, exterior of my grandma's house to hopefully take the Zen Wi-Fi from in here over to hers. So here we are now round at my grandma's new house. Now, whilst this was being built, I asked the electricians to run data cable to basically every corner of the house. So I'm hoping this is gonna be easy. So to give you some context, there's the lounge. And then this unit is then hopefully connected with AI mesh back over to that house. And we can mount it up here. Okay. 
Okay, so I've got the mount drilled up onto the wall. I'm gonna plug in one of these ethernets. Oh, it just goes under the ledge. That looks sick to be fair. So with the unit mounted outside, how are we actually going to power it? Now, as I mentioned, it has PoE. So in here are all of the data runs for this new cottage as to which one of them goes outside. Now there's a network switch down here that's gonna run all the cameras, the intercom, the wireless access point in this cottage and it also supplies PoE to all of these devices including our exterior ASUS unit up there. So I'm hoping that thing is now powered repeating the signal from my dad's house and has given this place internet through this switch. Let's go test it. Okay, so let's try a speed test now in this cottage. What did we get before? About 50 odd? I'm hoping to get at least 70 or 100. Huh, there we go. Seems to be hovering around 150, which again, really isn't that bad. So grandma is all Wi-Fi'd up. Now, let's be real. The only thing she's ever really doing online is watching my videos. She's definitely my biggest fan. So it's kind of a bit of a multi-use device this. We're bridging these two houses together and then using LAN on the inside to redistribute the Wi-Fi and have Ethernet inside being fed from this unit. But the AI mesh nodes, which this is one of, they also repeat the Wi-Fi as well, which means out here we should have some solid signal. Let's do some speed tests. So I'm hoping with that thing being mounted up as high as it is that down at these community gates we can still pick up a signal so we can connect these gates to the internet and use the app that comes with them. Yeah, I mean that's not bad for down here. As long as we get 5 meg, I'm sure the gates will open absolutely fine. And we are ages away from that access point. So after using AI Mesh for the first time, what's my actual thoughts? I think it's a really powerful tool that's built into most Asus routers and that's the reason that I really like it. You can reuse your old hardware by using, let's say, an old router that you've recently replaced and use it just as an AI Mesh node to extend the coverage of your Wi-Fi. Less old devices going into landfill, always a good thing. And so is good Wi-Fi coverage. On a whole, adding the nodes together was really simple. It literally was a few clicks and then it was done. And I like the fact that in the app itself, it shows you all of the connected nodes and then you can click into them and view things like their signal strength to make sure they've got a good connection to its main node or the main router. As far as the Zen Wi-Fi outdoor unit specifically is concerned, yet yeah, really impressed. Multiple power methods with the Clover and added PoE with two and a half gig ports and you've got two of them. You can set the device up as an AI mesh node, repeating Wi-Fi from an existing Asus system and then bridging a building together like we did today. Or you can just set the device up as a router, use one of those ports for WAN and the other one for LAN. Or another common use case, if you just wanted to use this thing as a wired access point, simple to do that. And then you could have it outside powered via PoE or that Clover port on the bottom. But overall, I'm really impressed with the speeds we managed to link my grandma's house to my dad's house with today. I'll put all the links to the products down there in the description. My name's been Alex, this has been Techflow, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.